Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my what's in my travel makeup bag and this is the last of the pre film videos. This is the last time I'm getting all glammed up before going on my trip in like two days. And I packed my makeup bag early and I figured I would show you guys what I'm going to bring. I mean, I am going to Florida. It's going to be a lot of beach, a lot of walking around, and I'm not going to want a ton of makeup on my face, to be honest. But if you guys want to see what I'm bringing with me, then just keep watching. So the first thing that I'm going to be bringing is just this eyeshadow palette. This is pretty much the only eyes shadows. Wow, these are pretty much the only eyeshadows that I'm bringing on the trip. This is my Z palette that holds all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows and my two Makeup Geek shadows. So... Yeah, this is the only one that's going to come with me. I'm really proud because if you watch my last travel makeup videos, I used to bring everything in the kitchen sink just in case. Okay, I lied. The only other eyeshadow I'm bringing is this one here. This is Bobbi Brown Toast Eyeshadow. I love this eyeshadow. It's holy grail for me. It's like a transition or crease color and I figured I would bring it. The next product that I am bringing is no surprise because it was just in my favorites video. Wow, June favorites. This is my Laura Mercier Flawless Cream Contouring Palette. I always use this bad boy. I do it right after I've done my foundation before I put any powder on my face. To set it, I always set it with a powder. And for that, I am bringing my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Okay, I'm kind of grabbing at random, but next, the only foundation per se I'm taking is my Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid. I bought this in a haul about two months ago, and I bought it specifically for the trip because I wanted something that feels lightweight on my skin, that can still offer coverage, but is just a great lightweight summer foundation. And this has been my holy grail for the summertime. And literally, this is the first time again that I'm only taking one foundation on a trip. Like, who am I? And then the other thing that I'm bringing like that, I'm going to have to dig for it. Oh shit, it's dirty. Okay, brief interruption, but I am bringing the Cover FX Custom Drops. These are what I'm going to probably be using most of the trip, just mixed with my sunscreen or my daily moisturizer on my face. I am in the shade G50, and also when I get tan, I can mix these two or this with any of my foundations like I have done today, just so it makes the perfect color for my face. I will also be bringing my NARS Smudge Proof Primer Eyeshadow Base, basically. This is just my eyeshadow base. This really stands out in humidity and heat. And then as a primer, I will be bringing my number 28 Primer Serum. But I might bring my Hourglass, um, this is my Hourglass too, but I might bring the Mineral Veil as well. I probably am going to bring both because it's going to be hot and my skin may get oily. This one's a hydrating primer and the Veil more is waterproof and locks everything in. Okay, let's talk about blushes. I really want to bring my entire blush collection because I can just see myself doing contoured and like blushed cheeks on the trip and being good to go. The first one I'm bringing is this new one from Too Faced. This is from their Love Flush Blush Collection. I'm actually wearing a Too Faced Love Flush Blush today. I'm wearing Baby Love. This shade that I'm bringing here is called Love Hangover and it is just a gorgeous peachy coral shade. I'm also going to be bringing my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. This is a holy grail for me. In the shade Luminous Flush. This again is a peachy pink. I mean, I'm pretty much bringing all peachy pink blushes because hello, it's me. I'm also bringing my Clinique Cheek Pop Blush in Ginger Pop. This, again, is a peachy pink, go figure. But this one has red terracotta undertones. And so when I get a tan, this is going to be bomb on my cheek. And then I think finally, which probably I need more, is this Becca Damselfly Blush. This one is just a straight tangerine peach blush. This is the only one that isn't a peachy pink. But again, with a tan, this looks great. And also with bronzy eyes, this just gives you a very J-Lo glow glow like that perfect peachy tangerine blush. Highlighters was another difficult thing for me to um, narrow down. I was only going to bring one and that was going to be the new Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Ever since I received this in a press package before it was released, this has been my absolute favorite highlighter. And I'm probably going to want to wear this every single day that I'm there. So I bought this one for sure. But you know, a girl needs options. So I bought two more. I also am bringing my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. This is in the shade Beige. This gives a very intense glow, but it's a neutral highlighter. So it's not too warm and not too cool. But it's a really gorgeous, angelic glow that it gives you. And then finally, I am bringing my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Yas. This is a gorgeous pinky tone highlighter. Lighter. It's a loose one, so I'm not going to open it and spill it anywhere, but it's an iridescent pink, so I figure I'm bringing a peachy golden, a neutral, and then a pink highlighter, and I'm set. I'm also bringing my NARS. This is my Pro Prime Instant Line and Pore Filler Perfector. I use this on my dog lines, aka my smile lines, to fill them in before going in with any foundation or base because my foundation just wants to sink into it and these lines just want to eat my foundation up. So this helps a tiny bit. It doesn't completely solve the problem. Really nothing but Juvederm is going to solve the problem or Botox in it and I'm not doing that yet. 
So that my eyebrows are not looking a ratchet mess, I'm going to be bringing two Anastasia Brow Wizards. One I use just to brush my eyebrows up and one I actually use the pencil for. I have two concealers that I'm bringing and then the rest are all lip products. The concealers I am bringing is the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade Light Warm. This concealer is my bitch. I am wearing it today. This one is quite a light shade, so I love it because I like that brightened under eye, but usually if I'm not wearing any eye makeup, I don't like to go this light, so I do need to get another shade. But for when I'm just doing my day-to-day -day not heavy glam, I will be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. This is great. It's more peachy, and it definitely is brightening, but it's not as yellow and as dark as this one, so this one is more forgiving if you just want to do natural. As in, makeup, but you don't want to look like you're wearing makeup natural my ass. And then for lip products, I had the hardest time narrowing it down again. I may throw most up in the bag because, you know, that's just how it is. But first of all, I am bringing my Laura Mercier Paint Wash Liquid Lip Color in the shade Petal Pink. I am also going to be bringing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Karina. I mean, hello. This is my favorite lip color to wear in the summer. It is a bright, fuchsia coral with a little bit of red undertones. I'm bringing a YSL Rouge Volupte in the shade 32. This is just a nice, gorgeous, gorgeous coral pink color. It's kind of on the bright side. It's like a medium mid-tone color, so it's very face brightening. I'm going to bring a MAC lipstick in the shade Pink Pigeon, which is just a bright pink. I really, really like this one. It's a hot pink, and it's a matte lipstick. So again, although it's not a liquid lipstick, it will last all day long. I'm going to bring the Julia Petit lipstick by MAC in the shade Boca. A little bit of a darker pink color. I'll swatch it right here. This is an absolutely gorgeous color. I'm going to bring my MAC Kind of Sexy lipstick. This is just a peachy pinky nude. It's between a peach and a nude. Again, another very easy to wear color with and without a lot of eye makeup. How many times do I say I'm going to bring? I'm going to bring. Next is MAC Lady Danger. This is an orange based red. And I just think a red lipstick on vacation is really nice. But this one is the perfect summertime red because it has a super orangey base and it looks great with dark hair. And then the last two I'm going to bring, one is a bright one. This is a retro matte and flat out fabulous. This is one of my all time favorite lip colors. It's like a purpley pink. It's like a hot pink but it definitely has purple undertones and magenta undertones. I love this color and it can work all year round. And then I'm bringing Velvet Teddy which is just one of my favorite nude shades but it has life in it. And Velvet Teddy is right on the top here. But that is everything that I'm pretty much taking the main things. I just wanted to show you guys because I know you guys like this style of video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below and leave me a comment because although I'm away, I still am going to be interacting and responding. And that is the best part for me being able to respond to you guys. And look forward to all my vacation videos that are going to be coming up very, very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.